Ladies and gents, welcome to the official release week or the second week of Legacy of Destruction. Destruction. Yes. Yo, Jesse, how are you feeling about Legacy of Destruction? The set is really cool. It's not like a set that stands out as like the best of all time. Right. But there is a lot of stuff in here that I'm excited for. Uh, just enjoyment reasons and for meta reasons. So good solid set. Ladies and gents, new Tenpai Dragon cards. Yeah. Uh, but guess what? You know what? We're going to throw that out to the side today. I'm going to be tackling the new Shiny Sarcophagus deck with the Grand... 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 Gandor, right? Gandor G. All right, okay, I get, guess I get it. You're a G, okay, you're a gangster, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You're trying to gaslight me. Anyways, guys, today we're going to do Shining Sarcophagus versus the brand new Yubel. Yubel got brand new support. Uh, there's a, what is it, Gruesome Grave Squirmer? I don't know the English name. Yeah, yeah, it's, what's the uh, OCG name? Well, the, the, the old translation was Infernal Grave Squirmer, right? Infernal Grave Squirmer, okay. So we got the brand new uh, uh, Gruesome Grave Squirmer here, and we also got Nightmare Throne as a new addition that to, crazy. that card is crazy, right? Yeah. Really insane. So today we're doing like an anime style duel with the brand new Yubel versus brand new Shining Sarcophagus. Lucky for you, I don't know what the cards do, so. Uh, when do you ever know what they do? What have you been well prepared for? Before we get with today's video, this video is powered by Supreme Pro. Be sure to visit TX1.com today. You guys get the awesome playmat that we're about to play on at TX1.com. The pink sleeve bundles and the white sleeve bundles. I'm not too sure that's sold out yet for the whites, you know, but the pinks <laughs> and, and, and the whites are selling out really, really fast. And you guys can use the code? Potato 10, 10% off site wide. They are fantastic quality sleeves, especially, so can go check it out. Thank you guys so much. And without further ado, it's, it's time, time to, to duel. duel. And then Gene Jin. Oh, no, no, no. Yo, fan, fan. Bruh. I just want to stop this video and say that this Supreme Pro sleeve saved my life. That's all. Sorry, fam. Almost back. broke an expensive camera for that. All right. Guys, honestly, I'm very excited for this duel right here. Post Legacy of Destruction, we got some of the most iconic Yugi deck. Yugi versus Jaden. Holy, yeah. Holy smokes. But it's in 2024, though. What do you think about that? In 2024. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't say I'm that surprised, right? They keep releasing support for the old cards. Yeah. But it's not just Blue Eyes Dark Conditions that I'm happy about. Yeah. Honestly, I'm really happy that you're actually taking this deck to locals to actually play against all the scrubs out there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I'm going to cook with this. Yeah, yeah. cook with this. Okay. This deck is like not tier one or anything. But, but it's fun. Is it fun? I, yeah. I like how they've been making these retrained decks like rogue playable. Yeah. So I can show up to locals and like take matches. I can probably win top eight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so check out my channel. I'm going to go to locals with this deck and see how I fare. I think I'll be fine, but we'll see. I'm probably going to cook Sam as well. You know how it gets. Uh, that's never happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, good luck, bro. I'm JD Yuki today. <laughs> you bell! But hey, who, actually, I haven't watched the, the final season. Yeah, Because uh, it was uh, Jaden lost? Jayden, of course. Oh, okay. Weird. So okay. you're going to lose now. Uh, but no. Guess what? Uh, yeah? In Ultimate Universe, I'm Jaden and you're Yugi. I'm better than you. Ready? Wait, One, what? two, three. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. That's predicted. I wonder what person. I'll start. Thank you. Luck, Roske. Oh. All right. Main phase one. Okay. I think Potter Prosperity. Yep. Man, it's kind of weird. So I'm actually just going to damage three cards because I don't want to risk. Prosperity, Prosby. Affecting the rest of my duel here. Okay, your prosperity. So, ties that bind, not what, that card, and what is a servant. That, what does that do? So the ties that bind, uh, I mean, it's it's like the, what's the what's the card that came out years ago? Was it just called? The, the, ties, ties, the that, ties the Brethren, that's what it's yeah, called. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So it's pretty much that, but for the Yugi cards. Um, and then this card is poo-poo, but I search it. Where it's pretty much, it's just like Sakuretsu armor. Really? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not very good. So I'm not picking this. Okay. Um, and I'm not picking this either. So this isn't even that good of a pick card to add, but... But, it, but it's Ties of the Brethren, though. It is Ties of the Brethren. So then I'll activate Future Silence, my Silent Swordsman card. Uh, even though it can really add anything. It add one monster that mentions Shining Sarcophagus from the next to your hand. Uh, and then I'll activate during the battle phase while control Shining Sark, we both John Soul 6. Wow, so, that's insane. It's not the battle phase. Of course. Nor do I have Shining Sarcophagus, so okay. it'll do neither of those things. Okay. And I'm going to get Future from Silence. deck to hand Gadget Trio. Gadget Trio? What the gadget heck? Gadget Trio. So instead of one gadget, it's all three together. So if you're unfamiliar with Yugi's gadget cards, on some of them they search a new card. Instead of searching another gadget, this one searches for any Shining Sarcophagus or spell that mentions it. If it also once destroyed, it will set the stronghold, that bad trap you saw, from deck. 
Amazing. So I'm gonna summon it and then use the ability. Yeah, that's fine. Yep. So I'm gonna add the Shine Sarcophagus because I don't have it yet. Okay. And what that card does, it's the key to my strategy. Okay, so what does it do? What is Shine Yeah, it's actually a field spell. For some reason, not a field spell. Uh, it came to by Monster Effect, which matters because I have a card that blows up the entire field. Yep. But also, uh, I can use Falling Effect once per turn, and that is during the main phase, add a card that mentions Shining Sarcophagus from the next to hand. Uh, and then also, when you summon from the graveyard, I can send a spell from my hand to the grave to send yours, Monster Summon, to the grave. That's insane. So I'm going to activate here and then use the effect to search. That's fine. Yep. Now, here I'm just going to grab. What do I want? I'm going to get a good all. More marshmallow. What the heck is this? This is crazy. While you control a shiny of a card, from a battle. Also, your opponent cannot, monsters cannot target this card for attack except for this one. Wow. During your opponent's turn, you can control a shiny sarcophagus. Quick effect. You special this card from your hand. Wow. You control a card effect. Special more marshmallow from your hand. Deck of graveyard. Wow. That's insane. That's pretty cool. So, good old marshmallow. One of my favorite cards of all time. So, just now, free extender. It's, it's arguable that this card isn't worth playing. But I love Marshmallow, and sure. so yeah. And then I'll activate the Ties That Bind. So what this card does is I target a card uh, on my field that mentions sh uh, the Shining Poo Poo, yep. and then a special from the deck, two more with different names. True. Uh, that also mention the Shining Sarcophagus. Amazing. So I'm going to summon the two fabulous Swordsmen now. Okay. Or one's a Magician, one's a Swordsman. The Silent uh, Attacker Defense. Uh, I don't know. Let's go Attack. Attack for Silent Magician, and where's Silent Swordsman? It is somewhere in here. Like Science Swordsman? Like the, the original one? No, 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 no of course there's, not. There's a new one. Yeah, yeah these are both new. Every, every card in here is retrained. It's like no no old stuff. Wow. Sadly, these old cards aren't really good anymore. <laughs> so let's read Silent Swordsman Zero. What this one does is during the standby phase, increase this card's level by one. So this counts yours as well. And then while this card is at level higher than its original, it gains 500 attack for the difference. Yep. When your opponent activates a card or effect, that target shiny sarcophagus or a monster that mentions it. So any of these, I can negate that effect. And if I do, increase cards level by one. Yep. Try to negate the activation. It does matter in some cases. And then Silent Magician Zero. This is the better of the one, of the two. It says if opponent draws a card, you increase its level by one. And the same way where you gain 500 attack for the difference for zero, same for, uh, they both zero. Yep. For Swordsman, the Magician does the same thing. Yep. But instead, when you use a spell or effect while control so shiny sarcophagus, I can negate the activation. Uh, increase level by one. Well, so that I, is a one per turn. So when I activate a spell effect. Spell or spell effect. Yes. So I can hit not zero poly, but okay, okay, good. Obviously not. Okay. Um, but everything else fair game. Okay. Then I'm gonna set one card face down and I'm going to end my turn. Okay, set one card face down and your turn. Let me just read your effect quickly, just you know, because you know you go players aren't really good at reading, but I'm I'm good at reading. It's called yeah, the target totally. So this is the monster negate. I think mean, the target set negates it. And this card says, well, this card's a, a this card's a secret rare. It is a secret rare. You can negate the activity. So this negates no monsters. Ball. It negates cards that target. It doesn't negate monsters. When your opponent activates a card or effect, it doesn't negate monsters. But this one only says when your opponent activates a spell or card effect. Wow, any any spell or card effect. Any spell, yeah. This one only stops targeting, but it's any card, and this is any spell. Wow, insane. Wow. Okay, so it's also another interruption here. So essentially, yeah, you have three interruptions that I know of. Like a green interruption. Okay. All right, I will draw a turn. Sure. Okay, Jesse Cotton. First and foremost, I will activate the Infinite Impermanence to target the Silent Magician Zero. What phase are we in? The dra draw phase. Okay, I'm gonna use the effect to just negate the target effect. Why? Because this one's better, I'd rather use this one. And also, you did it in the draw phase, so you can't turn it down with me. Huh, what if I debated you? How are debating with what? Loser. Anyways, I will activate Nightmare Throne! Nightmare Throne! What does it do? What does card does? Yeah, never mind, I'm getting it. How? This. It doesn't negate it, it doesn't destroy it. Negate the activation. It doesn't negate the effect. Negate the activation. Yeah, so negate the activation. Cheater. And then increase all the one. Oh, also during the standby phase, this gain level, and then you gain Druid cards to gain level. But okay, I, I'm being mean. For the for the fans, you can say what this card does. No, it's okay. Don't worry. I'll... No, okay. I'll say it later. You have a second copy. Uh, I did. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, can I'm, you I'm... use two in one turn? Yes, I can. You can. I'm gonna activate Nightmare Pain. And, uh... Nightmare Pain. During the main phase, you can destroy one dark monster in your hand or face on the field. You add one Ubell or one card that mentions it from my deck to my hand. Well, funny enough, Nightmare Throne actually mentions Ubell. No, so it I... doesn't. I'm being serious. It doesn't. 
Yeah, the face of Yubel. Oh, Yubel monster. monster. Oh. I literally have this issue in my video. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It that's literally doesn't do that. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Pro tip, read. Okay, I'll activate Nightmare Pain's ability. I will, uh, you can destroy one monster from your hand or face on the field. And the card that I will destroy is, of course, you bell from my hand. All right. I will uh, add, I will Nightmare Pain to destroy you bell. I'm going to add, of course, Samsara, the Lotus, from my deck to my hand. Just Sounds good. The Will of D? The Will of D. Samsara, D Lotus. Amazing. All right. And on res, you bell has an amazing ability. When it's destroyed, it gets the special on the you bell from the deck. That's fine. All right. Well, kind of common there. I will special summon, of course, Spirit! No, I can't. I can't do that. No, you only have one target. Terra Incarnate. Terra Incarnate! Terra Incarnate, Jesse Colton. So, you're right to run with that card, guys. So, this card cannot be just normal, must be special summon bell, okay? It cannot be just from a battle. You take no battle damage over this card. Before damage calc, when this face up monster attacked, a card is attacked by an opponent's monster. If the damage to your opponent equal to the monster's attack during the end phase, but you have to attack, it's like I can't attack you, yeah. unfortunately. Um, the Dream Game phase throw all, all the monsters on the field. So it just, okay. it's, a, it, it's a board, it's a board wipe. Um, yes. So I'm in the Incarnate. And what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to normal summon Samsara the Lotus. And it is not summon. It's not a quick effect, unfortunately. I just have Samsara the Lotus, so I'll trigger itself. Okay. The special, of course, Spirit of Yubel. And what she does when she summons is that if this card is special summon, uh, uh, you can add one, you can add to your hand or set one small trap from your deck that mentions your bell. So of course, I'm going to be adding Eternal Favorite. Heard is very good. Heart is really good. It, it, it actually lets me uh, sweep on religion your entire board. It, yes. If it, it allows me to. It is quite concerning. If it, it, it allows you. Sorry, you, you know what? Your time, your, your time is over. All right. Now, I will activate the new card. Gruesome Grave Scrimmer. If I control Ooh. a fiend monster, you just, I just push on this card from my hand. Then you can destroy one you bell or one monster that mentions it in your monster. Okay. So, of course, I will special summon, of course, the gruesome Grave Scrummer. And then I have to destroy the spirit of you bell. You don't have to destroy anything, by the way. Really? No. Then you can destroy. No, but. You, you want, if you can, you, you don't have to. I think. I, I think destroying. I think destroying this is pretty cool. What do you think? And you tell me. I don't know. Yes. I don't know your hand. I'm doing it for you. Do, 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 do. Yes, Quillis is Jaden. Just hoping that life will hand it, give him all the free victories. And this carefree attitude. Ah. Honestly, Jesse, I'm just like, I just realized like I, I, I might be like the best player in the entire universe. You might have no idea what you're doing. I, I have I I honestly think I might be like the best player. What in the level is world. this? It's level 11. Damn it. What? You think I'm stupid? Yes. No, I'm not. Level 10. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, destroy you, Belterra Incarnate, here. And when you Belterra Incarnate is destroyed, I get to summon, I, I keep, keep upgrading, you know? It upgrades. It reflects it. Keep upgrading? Yeah. I think that's fine. I will let you upgrade that, Bell. To summon the main man himself. Your nightmare. What does it do? I don't remember too fully. Uh, summon the nightmare. So can be destroyed. Must be special summoned by the Bell Interior Card. Cannot be special another way. This card cannot be destroyed in battle. You take no damage involved this card. Okay, can you slow down? Because blah blah blah. blah yeah, I don't sorry, sorry. That. Uh, so same thing. And at the end of the damage set, this face up attacks an opponent's monster. Put damage to opponent equal to that monster attack. Also destroy that monster. So if this if this face up card that was in battles, when it battles. Okay. And during the end phase, what does it do? Nothing. So this one doesn't blow up my field. No, it doesn't blow up my field. Unfortunately. So this is worse. Okay, sure. Okay. Neos Fusion. Fusion. Damn, that's fine. Okay, this lets me, uh, of course, send, of course, you bell. And Elemental Hero Neos. Neos. To summon. Are you, are you Neos. So what does Neos Kluger do? Uh, must be special summon before uh, must be special summon before damage calculation. This card battles with opponent's monster. You put damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. If this if this face up card is destroyed in battle or leaves field because of the opponent's card effect while it's under control, you special summon one Neos Rising from hand deck or graveyard in only some condition. That's pretty much it. Okay. What does Neos Wiseman do, or will I find out later? You will find out later. All right. I on, guess I will. Episode of Dragon Ball Z. 
I will enter. Uh, what, what, what's the okay? Enter the battle phase. Okay, what, what, what do you do? More marshmallow. Someone is on. That's it. Yep. And you have to attack it. Why well, you draw shiny sarcophagus? This card comes from my battle. Also, your opponent's monsters can target monsters for attack, except this one. Okay. That's it? Also, if it dies, it comes back. Have fun! Except, wait, there's no way you play three of these in your deck. You play three of them? Except, except itself. Except itself. Okay, sure. So you, there's no way you play two. There's no way, like... And what if I do? Okay, enter battle phase. I'll go... Uh, if it's more damage in battles, and you put damage to your opponent, you in a monster, also destroy a monster. I'll attack this. Okay. So there's 300, and it just destroys it. Um, I want to stop that. It destroys it. That is... I'm, I'm going to summon this in defense, because I don't think it does anything. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah. yeah, no effect. I'm just blocking it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'll go... Wait, what's the attack of these? They sh this should be a... They should be a 2,000 right now. Okay, so you lost... So, so it's supposed to be... So you only... Drew once and then I negated once and then you stand by phase once and drew once. So it should be level six. So it should be 2000. Okay. Um, uh, I'll enter the battle phase. Okay, well, I'm still in the battle phase. Um, Neil's Cougar. I will attack the side of this guy. So I'm going to take 2000. Yes. I'm going to take 1000 more? Yes. Alright, that's fine. Yep. What oh, is a good duel so far? I'll take 3000 points of damage. Yep. Alright, so I've taken 33. Yep. Alright. You have to discard a card for that, so. I will set one card face down during the end phase. Yep. I will activate some sort of lotus effect. I get to add itself to my hand. I can't special <sighs> because of uh, Neo's fusion, so I can't bring it out to the side of the field. Oh, can I add itself to hand? I actually didn't realize that it was just summon itself. No, it adds to my hand. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Alright, Jesse caught in. And that's pretty much all I have, and you end right, my so turn. Draw for turn. Board is pretty, this board's pretty insane for you, Bellboard. I like this. So you do have a card in hand, unfortunately. Yeah. Hmm. What is the, like, I want to see your Gandora guy. I like, I wonder what it does. In due time, my friend. In due time, eh? All right, so standby phase. Zero's effects will increase by level by one. So it's be a 2,500 attack now. How, how much? 25. 2,500 attack, correct. Yeah, I don't think that does much for your deck. Um, all right, that's fine. I'm going to link, oh, link me sucks. It's fine. Yep. I'm going to link these two ways. For Nightmare Phoenix. And let's go to that Eternal Fate, but the card is really annoying. Yep. Uh, I'll discard Pot of Prosperity. Target this. Right, I will chain uh, Eternal Favorite. Uh, I will reborn back. Yes. That, one, that effect doesn't require you to discard, right? No, it does not require me to discard. Okay, so I mean, still dies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, that's fine. Hmm. Look at this. When do you guys ever see this board? This board is getting crazy. We're kind of crazy. Yeah, I'll ride back to you, bro. Effect to, to search. Yep. Oh it's, oh, it's once per turn. Yes. Insanity. So my sarcophagus is going to add my Gandor. What the heck does this do? Gandorage. Oh my god. That is insane. This card's broken. Yes, so you can instead of attack each banished card, and you can only use the following effects once per turn. Control sarcophagus and can special summon it. Uh, I can pay half my life, destroy as many of the cards in the field as possible, and if I do banish them, special level 7 or a monster that mentions science cards from a deck, and increase the level by the number of cards. Destroy them and banish them? Yes. Banish them? Banish them. That is crazy. So, unfortunately, I do know that does trigger still, but I think this does too. Yeah, it does, it does. Y'all the, the, the trigger. What is this trigger? Is this trigger as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, but at least if you like one. Very unfortunate. Um, that's okay, we will press forward. This destroys all monsters, all, it destroys all cards. Actually, all cards. Damn. So, this guy wanted this to resolve. But it's been unfortunate I didn't use that face down card last turn. That would have been a, a fairly useful resource. Should have kept it in hand, maybe. I'll summon my Gandora G. Yep. And yep. So it, it just even destroys this. No, this is can't be destroyed by monster effects. Oh wow! I told you there was there was uh, protection little, there yeah, in place. Yeah. A little, little synergy there, I like it. So I'm gonna activate my can door here, I think. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use the door here. Yep. 
So we're gonna, I'm gonna pass my life. Yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna damage these two. I'm gonna damage all six of those. Uh, okay. Well, it, des it destroys and vanishes, right? Yes. Okay, so this is getting destroyed. This is getting destroyed. Can this not get destroyed? No. Um. Okay, yeah. This is getting destroyed. This is getting destroyed. And then this is getting destroyed. And then I will use Neil's fusion to banish stuff from the graveyard to protect this from being destroyed. Ah, smart. So now, uh, I guess you like you I resolve special from the deck, yeah. first, so, and, and then I'll resolve. So my the question effects. is, then what would I want to special here? I can special summon a gadget, or I can get a big monster out. I think I'm going to go for Silent Magician. It's the same one that's in the gate. I think that's better. Yes, I'm going to Silent Magician. Okay, so 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 it gains a level for each card that was destroyed. So I destroyed two of my own, and I destroyed five of yours. So it's going to gain five levels. Yep. So I'm at thirty-five. 30 -30. Okay, so now can I trigger my effects? Yes. So since Ubel was destroyed, and also uh, Spirit of Ubel was destroyed, I will activate their abilities. Yes. Uh, Spirit of uh, Ubel will be chilling too. I will special summon, of course, Ubel Incarnate uh, directly from my graveyard. Uh, the Spirit of Ubel's effect, this allows me to summon. It should be regular Ubel, right? That is, it, that, yes. This allows me to special summon regular Ubel from my banishment. I guess back to banish them too. Exactly. So it's summon back to banish them. Huh. That is very, very troublesome. Yep. Can this be back from the banish zone as well? Uh, no, it cannot, unfortunately. So I'm gonna read this real quick. So if this card is destroyed, uh, it, it doesn't float because my my incarnate is in my deck. Unless I play another one in my deck, which you don't know, what I'm, you don't know what I mean. Destroy other monsters on the field. There's no way to play two of that card. So so far you lost three thousand and you paid half your life points, so you're at twenty five hundred, correct? Yes. Okay. I'm going to activate. Triple tap is down for control. Because he's activated effect this turn. Sure, no problem. Take control. So I'm going to take control of this. Kluga! Kluga! Okay. And then I can link these off. Kluger, okay. No problem. Okay. And then I can go Dark Charmer effect. Yep. And I'll bring back your U Bell. Yep. Go to find U Bell now. Yes, sir. But then I will link it off. No problem. I will make a speed in my video. Okay. And then I will banish this. Mmm. Okay. So I cannot attack directly this turn. And then I will special summon Dogmatic Ecclesia. Damn, Ecclesia. Yes, sir. And I will add Dogmatica Maximus. Maximus. Deck to hand. Cool. Which I'll special summon by banishing from grave. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, you cook it, though. And then Maximus. Yep. No problem. So we're both going to have to send here. I'm going to send Garura and. Malong. Yep, what does that do? So you sent two as well? Yep. What's the Yama? So Guru is going to use the effect to draw a card. Yep. Uh, and then if Malong is sent to the grave, I'm going to target the card. The opponent control will return it to the hand. So I'm going to target your Yubel to return to the hand. So return this. I double Yama, right? Yeah, I said double Yama, right? Yeah, sure. Yep. So when Malong is in the grave, I'm going to target control of the hand. So I'm going to use the effect from the hand to the Yama. Yep. Because, yeah, it's not much you triggering Yama. Draw. It's okay, I guess. Um, hit the deck directly, so that's going to be my turn. That's it? Yes. Okay, Jesse. I will draw a turn. Yep, so again, the level, so I'm up to level 10. So I should be at 4,000 attack points right now. 4,000 attack points. I'll normal summon some Sara D. Lotus. That's fine. I'll use the effect to tribute itself. No response. To summon Spirit of Ubel. I'll use Spirit of Ubel's effect. I can't ask you to manage it. Yep. Uh, Nightmare Pain. 
Knight in here. You have you bell in hand and you're staying on spell negate, Sam. I think it might be over for you. Have to try. I think it was destroyed, dude. Oh, because it was the because the activation was negated. Yeah. Mm. Oh, nightmare throne. Think you're nice. Think you're nice. So good. I have grave squirmer. I'll destroy it. Destroy a grave squirmer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll banish grave squirmer. All right. Especially when you bubble my hand. All right. Hold on. You have no... Okay, that's fine. You have nothing there. That's fine. Okay. You don't have a level 11 you bell. I'm okay with this. Okay, so during the end phase, uh, you bell will tribute itself, and then I'll trigger off my mental attack. It tributes itself and it destroys itself, right? destroys itself, yeah. But you bell leaves if you'll buy a card. Yeah, so that... that wait, can this get back from the banish zone? Yes, it can. God damn it. I'll summon Terra Incarnate. And then... If I pass priority to you, right, that means I can't use the effect. No, you, you can. It's mandatory, right? Or wait, is it, this, it, is this optional? It's during, it's during your end phase. I have to destroy everything. Oh, man. So, during the end phase, I'm not using the effect. I'm passing priority to you. I'll pass it back to you. So, like, what does that mean? So, I have to destroy it now. Yeah, now you have to. Oh, okay. So, now I'm destroying everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And not, and not SP results, right? Yes. Yeah, and then also All right. And this is insane because whenever my Yubel leaves, the other one comes back. So I guess I can summon this one from the from banishment. That is so strange. You drew Nightmare Throne for turn, you were so lucky. <laughs> this is a good duel, Yugi! Can I read this? Yeah. Bow down. Bow damage. Oh my goodness, bro. Okay, and I forgot. Oh, okay, whatever. It's fine. I also forgot Yama's effect. I am going to also, yeah. With, with, with what? This. Oh, you had a spell to negate it? Yeah. Okay. Um, main phase one. Okay, that's fine. Once you're in a face of Yubel Monster Control, at least feel by a card effect, you can add to your hand of one Yubel Monster from your deck, your banishment, whose original level is one or higher than, low, than one of those monsters. Oh my god, that's actually so broken. Alright, well, I'm gonna activate your Sarcophagus. Okay. Search. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm gonna get another copy of Gandora. That's fine. I'm gonna special summon it. Yeah. And I'll pay it down to 1250. Use the it's banished. Oh, that's crazy. It is crazy. Wow. That, that's that's a strong really, really strong. And maybe I'm done with the music now. Maybe I'm just insane. So here I will special summon Gadget Trio for my deck. Really good. Uh, and then I'll use Spirit of Evil's effect. I'm using Yama. Huh? I'm using Yama. Oh, and I'll affect I'll use Yama as well. You don't have to. Up to you. So chain link one, I'm gonna go chain link gadget trio and summon a search. And shining sarcophagus spell. Okay, and then I'll go chain link two Yama to banish. Okay. And then chain link three spirit. Okay. So spirit of you bell will summon of course. Why did they get back in the banish zone? That's so stupid. I will summon you bell from the grave. Yama, just touch something. I'm sorry. Yep. And this will resolve. Let me add a. I'm gonna add a shine scarf. Just protect the hand. Yep. Try to read this. Yep. Yeah. When a monster effect is activated. Yeah. Which means sarcophagus effect will activate. Send sarcophagus to send you bell. No, but you bell wasn't. Oh. You made a blunder, Sam. You someone from the graveyard. Oh, it's just on, on res, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Maybe only with a Samsara D Poopy. Okay, that's all right. This goes to the grave. Yep. Then, how many banished cards do you have, Sam? A lot, bro. I have A lot, seven. dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seventeen, so I'm at 5,100 attack points. Mm -hmm. You're at full. Wow, am I 300 off? 
Can I really not kill you? That's so sad. Well, I had a contingency plan if you didn't do that. But in this case, I'll just draw two with this card instead. Sure. Because it's not game if I attack. Okay. Draw one. Draw two. All right. Uh, I think it's better if I hold that in hand then. So I'll enter the battle phase. Mm -hmm. I'll attack with my gadget trio. Uh, yep. And then I'll attack directly for 50, 100 points of damage. I will take this. So right now you're at 1,250. Yes, okay, you're and you're at 29. Okay. Main phase two. I'll set two cards face down. This time you're done for, Sam. Okay, Yugi. Heart of the cards now. Nah, it's you don't have heart of the cards. I have heart of the it cards. It's part of the cards now. Insane. You don't have anything. You have no spirit of U-Bells left. You have no U-Bells left. You are cooked, Sam. How? What do you mean? Aren't you out of everything? No. Wait. Oh, I thought you had a three gone. No, just two. Jesse, right. call me horses. Call me horses, Jesse. Because I just taught the XM Zora. Okay. The XM Zora. Three. I'll something. Relax, my friend. What do you have? Turn silence! What the hell? What does that do? Target a face of monster I control, increase the level by three. I'm gonna target my Gandora G. Then, if I control a shiny sarcophagus and a monster mentions it, and this was activated in response to a monster effect, it negates that effect. Oh my god. Put that in the grave. It's over! Oh my god! Your turn has been silent. God damn, that was nice. I like that. You like that. to pass your turn, Sam? It just negates the activation, right? It's the effect. It, it just negates the effect, right? Jesse, that's it, man. I, 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 I am my turn, dude. Draw! Finish. That was a world. Yandora attack! No! Ah, oh, damn. I, honestly, I didn't know what your card did, to be honest, but... Oh. Uh, you also play three of these, right? Huh? You play three of these? Two. Oh, wow. That's insane. I might play three. In grind games, you win three, but I don't know how often you go to the grind. Usually, if this resolves twice, you should win, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Banish yeah, yeah. their whole field twice. Like, yeah. Most decks wow. can't come back from banish their whole field twice. That duel was absolutely crazy, guys. Yeah, bro, I'm just doing one duel. That was one? Good. Yeah, that was good. That was a good duel. Yeah, yeah. That was a great duel. Was a you summoned Niels Kluger, you summoned yeah, no, that was all the Bells. That was great. That was great. I used every card in my deck, yeah. No, bro. That was, that was beautiful. It was beautiful. All right, guys, holy smokes, that was amazing. Post Legacy of Destruction. Honestly, you got lucky, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want to see game number two and potentially game number three, let us know. <laughs> <That'd> be... <laughs> yeah, go to game three, okay. <laughs> You're so lucky, I, 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 I don't know what your cards did. So you don't know what your cards did either. Honestly, if I started out my turn Nightmare Throne, you definitely would have negated that, right? Huh? If I started my turn Nightmare Throne. Yes, Thrones. it's the best card in the deck. Yeah, right? Yeah, for the sure. The card is insane. Like, even with some... So yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I think my single single play was, was correct. Because what I could have done... Yeah, yeah. I think, I think that was good. Yeah. That was good. Anyways, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed these crazy anime duels with the brand new retrain cards, uh, smash thumbs up on Jess is going to be playing this deck at Locals as well. Uh, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. I'm definitely going to give this deck a little bit more testing for sure because I do enjoy this deck. This deck is absolutely insane. It was super fun to play. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out his channel for more crazy content. And we got you guys some more crazy duels coming up on this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. And Potato 10, 10% off your sleeves on TSX1.com. All right, guys. <laughs> Peace.